Who are you? Oh, okay. All right. That's cool, I guess. So, ooh. What's that up there? What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a little Carno. Little Carno, little guy. All right. Anyways, weird start. Didn't even anticipate that. But guys, welcome back to the aisle. We are the friendly little Uteraptor. And we also have some cool stuff to go through with the aisle. Apparently, they have a fully functioning nesting system as announced over on their Twitter account. Now, the interesting thing about this is that since they've got the animation done for the nest being made, I would assume they just need to put animations in for the creatures in survival. And that's basically that. I don't think it's going to be an easy task, but I'll show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, right? Looks cool. I like it. That's for the galley, obviously, as you guys probably digested with your own eyes. Now, the thing about this is I do believe they are going to add it for all the other creatures that are in survival. I don't know about the other creatures in, like, um, the other game modes, like sandbo or Sandbox and Progression. Maybe in the future, but I think the priority is going to be to add it to the creatures that are currently in survival. Now, the interesting thing about it, too, is that, well, the galley can use its hands. It can use its hands to make a nest, but I do believe that in the future, it's just going to be like, this guy right here will use his hands, probably, or his claws. But ultimately, when it comes to, like, a Rex, a Rex will probably just scrub the ground with his feet. And that's probably how it's going to be with these larger two-legged creatures. They're just going to use their feet to kind of burrow a hole and pile up the dirt, more or less. I mean, that's all a nest really is in the aisle right now, a pile of piled up dirt. Maybe some, like, twigs and stuff like that, but mostly just dirt. So, yeah. But, I mean, they still have a fully functioning nesting system. I didn't expect that at all. And they have a lot more information, apparently, on the horizon about to be released. And I know that Dondi boarded one of his flights to get home because Don, the creator of the game, has been out for a while. So once he returns, I'm sure there's going to be a massive influx of content along with different developer streams going on. So keep your eyes out for that stuff. And let me know if anything cool happens. Oh! Where the hell did he come from? How much health do I have? Oh, he barely even did it. What? That was... He barely did anything to me. How much bleed do I have? He barely did anything to me. I'm just going to run up here and casually sit down. I want to act like that didn't happen. That was awkward. That must have been like a sub-adult. I think that was a sub-adult Carno. Let me sit down right here. I'll heal this up. I'm already healed, sure. What was that even supposed to be? This guy, like, reached out from the bushes, the shadows, and tickled my my chin. And that's it. I don't even... Like, that wasn't even... I'm going to try and hunt this guy. No, you don't get to bite me and get away with that. Even if I die, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down fighting. Let me see where this guy is. Because I know he's in there now. Where are you? I'm going to find you and I'm going to bite you. It's going to be a bad time. If I ever find you. Probably will never find it again, actually. This guy. Oh, <laughs> I could kill you if I wanted to. You better walk away. Yeah, you better walk away. <laughs> I just walked up on that guy fully loaded. <laughs> I wasn't able to find the Carno. Like, I ran back around and I made noises. I tried to fake limp around and it didn't really seem to entice him or bring him out. So it kind of sucked. He scared the crap out of me and I didn't get to get any revenge on him, which right now... The way it is with Utahs, Utahs can take down Carnos. There's a pack of Utahs last night that took down a Rex. Like, that's pretty crazy. Last night, too, I was part of a group that took down a sub-adult Rex, and two of them, actually, and we were doing it while a fully grown trike was keeping an eye on them, so I feel like that's a bit of an accomplishment. You know, just saying. Anyways, no. 
I think development's going to ramp up really fast, really soon on the aisle. Now, I have this huge idea that I want to give you guys and, you know, get your thoughts back on and, and improve on because I'm going to bring it to Don and see what he thinks about it. If the community supports it, if you guys like the idea and stuff like that, I'll see if I can push it towards some kind of like integration into the game if Don likes the idea too. I already gave him a small summary of it and I want his input on it, but I'm going to ultimately see if you guys have any more valuable input on it or how to improve it and this and that. But I want to move into something else first. I want to move into some different stuff and then we will move into this grand idea that I have because it's it's a pretty big one. So a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on the sub Tisso slash Nicta Tyrannus. And I've already shown this one off in a previous video, I think a couple weeks ago, but this is basically the final product right now. And it's done per se. I literally just need the sounds completed and then that's it. So I've been talking to various people about getting some sounds for this thing because I really want it to sound unique in its own right. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Then we move in to this guy right here, the Elder Galley, which has developed a sizable fatty hump on its back, which seems to provide more endurance than younger individuals. More or less, this builds off of the idea that I was, well, I'm gonna speak about this later in the video, uh, on elder creatures and the concept of that. I believe Eve Stargaze is one of the people that actually came up with this idea originally, and then Emily Stepp just built on it from there with this guy, and you can see the Elder Galley idea, and then the adult, sub-adult, and then juvenile. There's a lot of stuff that went into the idea for this, and I want to hear from you guys about it. Then we have the Hypo Parasaur, which obviously a fan-made creation by Emily, and I will say right now, I will note that Emily's art has definitely improved in quality and detail over the last couple of months, and I've been seeing a progressive increase in the detail coming to, I guess, these pieces right here, but this is a concept, not official, but it's still a concept of what a hypoparasaur would look like. Now, there's no hy hypo herbivores right now, from what I understand. There may never be hypo herbivores, but I love the idea of it. Community feedback is always appreciated as well. And who knows, maybe it will be a feature that comes in the future. And finally, guys, apparently there is an active volcano on the map now that I overlooked entirely. And I don't even know how to get to this thing right now. Otherwise, I would be running to it. I think there's a smoke, uh, smoke section somewhere on the map where you can actually like run to it. But at the same time, I'm kind of nervous to do that with my, any of my creatures right now because, I mean, I have a feeling there will always be someone up there checking out the volcano. And that's just a bad time for me if I happen to be smaller and slower than whatever is up there. Or maybe I get caught off guard and break my leg and pull an Angie or something like that. I just want to let you guys know, go check it out. I don't think it actually erupts or anything like that. You don't got to worry about that, but you never know. Hey, little guy. How you doing? You know, I really could use a snack right now. Just saying. So unfortunately, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta do that to you, so I can live. My hunger isn't really down that far, but I mean, it's just a fresh spawn. It's not like he lost anything, so, you know, want not, waste not want not. Is that the saying? Yeah, wait, waste not want not. So, that was pretty cool on the concepts that we had just seen, and on top of that, I've already shown you the idea for egg laying and stuff like that. But now I have this idea, and I like the idea that I have, but at the same time. I mean, it could have some issues within the community. And I don't want to just spout random ideas on the spot and be like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 this and that and this and that. Which, by the way, the whole feces thing, uh, yeah, that wasn't actually a bad idea because uh, I heard things and now I know things that I can't talk about. At least I don't, I don't even have a lot to talk about what I just said. I don't know if I was supposed to disclose that or not. But anyways, uh, completely off topic and completely not on the topic of what I want. So I have this idea while I hang out on the radio tower here. And the idea is basically in nature, we... Okay, now I'm going to start off at the very, very start of this. Right now, when you progress, you basically know what you're going to have when you reach your max weight class and stuff like that. Like, for instance, this Utahraptor is 1,000. He does 200 damage, a bite, 15 bleed to something around his weight mass with 1,200 health. You know, you know your stamina, you know your health, you know, you know everything basically on the spot for whatever creature you main. So like you have a Rex, you had like 6,500 health is the max and this and that. And then we had the idea of like these elder creatures where if you got really old, uh, I think it was Eve Stargaze and then Emily Art built on that idea as well as you had seen with the uh, previous artwork. But then we built on the idea of being able to be an elder creature, which would give you more damage, more health, this and that. But ultimately, it's to, it's not a mean. It's a means to an end in a way because, like you know, you can go past your adult phase into the elder phase where you're battle hardened. You know, you know, you know how to fight basically, and you get bonuses because of that. 
but it doesn't really give anyone this uniqueness that we would like to see in video games that I see a majority of gamers want to see in games. They want something unique. They want something that makes them stand out every now and then from everyone else in the, in the group, you know, and it's not just based on skill. And the idea behind it for me is having dynamic health, dynamic bite force, dynamic weight, dynamic everything basically that you can think of that's a stat. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the idea for me is you can have two lions in the world and like maybe one will have a bite force of, I don't know, 250 pounds. And then another one is a much larger lion that has like 350 pounds of bite force. You know, maybe the larger one can handle more of a rough time than the smaller one and this and that, so on and so forth. The idea, I think you already know where this is going, is to have it so different creatures, like for instance, let's say we have three Uteraptors next to me and I'm the fourth. Well, let's say we all have different weight masses. I'm a thousand, next guy to me is like 1250, another guy is like 900, and the other guy is the runt at 750 or something. I have 1200 health, Mr. 1250 weight mass might have like maybe 1600 health for instance, and then the other one would have like a thousand, then the runt would have like 800 because he got the genetic short straw. That's the idea behind this, and then you do different damage. And then this even scales up to the Rex, where the Rex might have 6,500 with its weight mass of, like, whatever it's supposed to be, 6,000, I think. And then you might have, like, a Rex that won the genetic lottery, and it has, like, 9,500 weight mass and, like, 10,000 health or something like that. And this guy is just the Rex that you don't want to mess with because, you know, it's, it's like referencing that... Uh, alligator or crocodile whatever that was in Africa somewhere this just monstrously big like what was it it was like 18 or 28 feet it's just the world's biggest freaking genetic freak giant crocodile and maybe this Rex instead of 500 bite damage would do like 800 so if you wanted to take them on you'd need to find two two friends that are like really you know like they got lucky with their stats for instance and you know, then they could take them on maybe and stuff like that. And this, this would play into a part too of like breeding and nesting and stuff too, because let's say we have, you know, Rex A and B and Rex A is like 9,000 weight mass and Rex B is like 7,000. Well, then you ultimately want to go with Rex A who has 9,000 weight mass, who has the better health, the better stats overall compared to Rex B. It would automatically add some kind of value to the Rex that has the better stats because then the offspring are more likely to start off with a base of what they have and then you add on more but obviously there will be a, a cap at like maybe 10,000 now these are just rough estimates I know 10,000 weight mass is a lot that's a lot to add on to a Rex that is ridiculous almost in a sense but like the idea is there for dynamic health ranges more or less and dynamic everything so you can have more diversity have more meaning behind your Uteraptor like if or your your creature in general I mean, if I had a Uteraptor that came out with 1,600 health and, like, max weight mass, make a max bite damage, and, like, the stam was, you know, on par with a normal Uteraptor stam, I mean, then that would matter a lot to me, and I wouldn't want to get this guy killed. I would be a lot more cautious, and I'm pretty cautious now as a player, but I'll be a lot more cautious, and I would try to bring in people with nesting rather than just, you know, hanging out like I am right now. That's that guy that attacked me earlier. Uh-oh. Yeah, I remember you. You attacked me in the bushes. Yeah, that's right. I remember you. You attacked me way down there. I know you. I'm not trying to care bear you, but you better get lost. You get your drink, but I'm not going to care bear you. I'm just after this guy because I remember him from earlier. I hope this is the guy. A smaller Uteraptor attacked me, and he hasn't had the time to progress all the way up. So that's why I went after that guy. I'm like 90% sure that was the one that attacked me down in the trees just down the hill down there. And it happened a little while ago, actually. Oh, Jesus. That guy came out of nowhere. I'm just going to move over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't even know he was there. And the Parasaur that got rescued by me is now going to die, so I mean, R.I.P. you, holy crap, I didn't, I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> That's so creepy. I didn't even see that guy, then suddenly he comes out of the bushes. <gasps> There's a Giga too! 
Oh! Oh, he doesn't know the Rex, or maybe he knows the Rex is there. Maybe he... Maybe they're partnered up. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. I don't think they are. Oh, no, they're not. Rex, you, you're not going to catch him, are you? Oh, my God. That'd be amazing if the Rex had caught him. If he was more cautious, he would have. Maybe the Giga's out of Stam. Maybe that's the best case scenario. Oh, hi. Maybe that's the best case scenario. Damn. You almost had a really good kill, too, bud. Got another unnamed Utah Raptor in here. I don't know who they are. But I don't blame them for trying to get away from them. Uh-oh. No, he's not going to bite. Oh, yeah, he's going to bite. Poor guy. He acted like he was friendly, but he wasn't. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh no! He can reach through the fence! Oh, and he tried so desperately to get away! Oh my god, that's gotta suck so fast! I mean, I've got food now. Wow, he's really eating it through the fence. That's so... Oh my god, it's so buggy. They need to add some kind of hitbox so, like, you can't do that through, uh, through objects. Wow, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. So I want to know what you guys think about the idea I had. I've been tossing it around in my head for the last, like, weekish, and I I don't know. I know it's it seems like it's more of, well, I guess it is more of, like, a realism aspect, but I, I would like to see some uniqueness to the creatures and not just set stats. They see It's just very stock stats right now. I don't want to see, you know, like, things borderline and stuff. I'd like to see some more value added into the creatures. Like, winning the genetic lottery and then losing the genetic lottery, obviously. Like, nature has those kind of things happen where you're just not built to survive in this world. Guys, why are you up here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? Is he bleeding? Wow. This guy is literally just killing things because he can. Well, that is it for this video on the aisle. Guys, the server just crashed, and it's perfectly fine because it's a dev server on dev branch. In case you don't know how to switch to dev branch, you go to your aisle client properties betas and then scroll down to De come on it won't let me click but you click that and then it'll have dev branch somewhere around there that you can use it it should at least i think i don't think there's a code for it there might be a code i don't know don't quote me on it but anyways like i said that is it for the video let me know your thoughts down below on all of the stuff that i have shown you in this i know there was a something right here yeah hear that There's a, there's a button there. There's another one somewhere. Right here. Yeah, there's two buttons. I don't know what the buttons are for. I think that's just a bug in the uh, in the menu. But yeah, you can you know where to find that. You just saw where I went for that. Um as far as the idea that I had for the game, I don't know how far that's going to go. I don't know if that'll even make it anywhere. I don't even know if Don will like it or not. And I don't even know if you guys will like it or not. So hopefully you do like it. Uh, give me... I, I need a way to improve it. I need a way to improve it and bring it to the next level with different stuff. I need you guys to tell me how I can do that. Wait. What the... Why is there... You guys see that? What is that right here? I see extra dots now. Those weren't there before. I don't think they were there before. Weird. Did they mess with the menu? There's some blood splatter right there. All right. Anyway, it's not important. Guys, I will see you in the next video.